Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. So in this lecture, we have to discuss about how to give duct tagging in Revit. Okay, so here in previous lecture already we have seen automatic duct sizing. You can do the manual duct sizing also with the help of Macway duct sizer software. Software is available. Okay, you can go manually also. So here now we have to discuss about the duct tagging. So for tag, if you want to give the tag, to see the bottom of duct or duct size okay so just you have to use the shortcut tg okay just press tg and just take the now take the mouse near to the ducts it is showing you the size 14 inch by 14 inch i want to see this main duct size it is 22 inch by 22 after the reducing the size is 16 inch then after reducing 8 inch by 8 inch this branch duct size is how much it is showing 12 inch by 12 inch so from here you can it is attached and you can change it as a free end also where you want see as per your requirement you can give the tag like this same way here also you can do same thing see 14 inch by 14 inch okay here also we have some duct so in this way you can give the tag this is our branch duct so if you want to give the tag here you can give it here also if you want just tag it like this so both option is available free end or attach end okay you can select any of the so now the next thing is when i am giving the tag here only it is showing you the size of duct suppose let's say in this tagging only you want to see the bottom elevation of duct okay in tagging and like uh, bottom elevation and if you want to see the flow airflow value also here in tagging so for that what we have to do it is very simple see just you have to select the existing tag from the drawing any of the tag modify tab mode panel here you will get the option edit family hit on edit family now see here you have to select the size then edit label option is given hit on edit label okay see in this label parameter only the size is added that is why in your tagging the duct size is visible what you want to add so from the category parameter which you want to see in tagging you can add it so suppose let's say you want to see the flow value also so from the category select the flow and see add parameter option is given hit on add okay now again you want to see the bottom elevation also so search it bottom elevation is given here yes so you can select it bottom elevation add it like this okay so when you have added now here also we have some option prefix suffix break what is mean by this say prefix means what suppose let's say if you want to write something before the flow value okay so you can write it here suppose before the flow i want to write down at the rate before the size of supply adduct i want to write down the sad shortcut supply adduct is equal to then i want the size so you can write down in prefix same way before bottom elevation i want to write down bod is equal to so write down and in suffix after the size flow bottom elevation if you want to write down something you can write down in this suffix okay and what is meant by break see if you have not checked the break and directly you have selected this all and uh, now see hit on apply okay see the problem is what from here you can drag it problem is what in tagging now uh, first you will see the size of duct after that they will give you the flow value and then they will show you the bottom elevation value like this in series sequence but if you want if you want to see the size first below that you want to see the flow value below flow you want to see the bottom elevation value so you have to hit on edit label and from here just check the break then hit on apply okay now see here first of all in tagging you will get the size of duct below that you will get the flow value and then below that bottom elevation so after doing this setting what we have to do file tab save it as a family save as family now save it to the desired location let's say i have saved in desktop with the name you can give any of the name duct size tag okay whatever name you want give it and save it after saving this tag hit on load into project and close so and finally you have to hit on override the existing see the tag will change now 
here you will get the supply air duct is equal to size at the rate flow cfm bottom of duct is also showing here okay everything you can see same way in first floor also you can do the same thing so in this way we have to give tagging in duct so i hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next one